I've been writing a lot of JavaScript recently. It's Alpine JS and it's in a Laravel application, so it's not too crazy. But I've always admired that Livewire, especially in version V3, Livewire and Alpine JS are so connected that it just works with simple things that you might want to do on the server or on the client, or maybe from the client to the server or the server to the client. And here's one thing that you might not know. You can actually call JavaScript from PHP. This is a pretty standard Livewire application where we have a list of users that are paginated and we can search up here so that we can return that users live using this search. Now, the browser does have some nice features if you are using the type of search and the input where you can just clear this and it resets everything without having to do any of the things that we're going to be doing here in a little bit. Now, let's imagine for some reason that you need to clear this input field or maybe like clear a specific variable form, whatever you might have without actually submitting the form. Well, most of the times if you're thinking in live wire terms, you're like, okay, I'm going to write a function, a method on the server, in this case, maybe like a reset query function where I set that state to blank. And yeah, you would be correct. You could do exactly that. Reset, everything works just fine. But that function, that method is running on the server. If we were to open this up and head into network, maybe switch this to slow 4G, reset. Okay, the page load, um, Dalton, let's see. Uh, we'll say Alfreda. There we go. Reset. And it takes a couple of maybe like a second to reset that thing. So it's it's not the worst UI or UX in the word, but world, but most of the time you're probably thinking JavaScript is going to be the best answer for this. I just need to clear this so that the component can reset. I don't really care if it takes a little bit for the component to reset, in this case, the search to reset. That's server side. I would expect that to happen a little bit. But if I was to click reset, I'm, I would expect that to at least clear pretty quickly. So what can we do with this? Well, because Livewire and Alpine are so interconnected, there's a lot of great methods and magic that Alpine has that we can use to interact with everything with up here within Livewire. For example, in this button, instead of wire click, which is hitting this query right here, what we could do is say x dash on, and that's going to say this is just client side, click equals, and now we can call these wire methods. One of the things that to, to note here, I'll put this in the description below, is there's these uh, actions, there's these magic actions within Livewire, where you can say things like, I want to talk to the parent component. Uh, and this is just live wire, but I can set specific um, variables from live wire. I can refresh the component from live wire. And with doing all of this without saying or creating own functions and methods within the live wire class, instead you just do it all in line. So we could do that, but it's essentially doing exactly what we have here. We have this wire click set query. So let's take a look wire click set query we're essentially just doing what this reset query is doing but just in line here again incredibly useful not really useful for our specific purpose in this video we you we do want to use javascript and alpine is the the dollar sign wire is still uh, passed down to all of alpine components so we have access to pretty much everything here within Alpine as well. If we want to toggle a variable, if we wanted to refresh the component, if we want to set the component or just get the component state, we can do all that, but we can also call specific methods as well. So what you could do instead of this is say, well, I want to say X on click equals, and then we can say dollar sign wire dot query. And that's that variable that we have dollar sign wire dot query and then we could say equals and set it to blank. So this is running on the client first. And then hitting it's basically running on the client getting the value for this query state, and then setting it. But it's not pushing that to the server, we can take a look. So refresh, we have Kali. 
and reset. Okay, nothing happens because we're just doing this on the client. I want to refresh the page. We take a look and we say to the network, because if, if we hit this search, Kali, we have a bunch of different update requests that are happening within Livewire. Usually, if we were to hit that reset button, we would expect, I want to hit the server, reset the field, and reload the component because the component reloads anytime we run a function or a method within that component. But clearing all this out, hitting reset, okay, nothing happens on the server. It's all client side. Well, this is great. How do we, how do we reset or refresh our component? Well, instead of doing it all in line, which you could do, we could say something like, and then we want to wire dot uh, refresh the component. That's all well and good, but you, you can write all of this in PHP. A little crazy, I know. Let's switch this back to uh, wire click. So wire click refresh or reset query. Now, instead of this query, we can actually call JavaScript right here in the component. So we can set this as an attribute to say uh, JS. We bring that in, use Livewire attributes. We're just saying Livewire is going to basically initialize this as a JavaScript attribute. So when we call reset query with wire click, we're not actually hitting the server. We're running it on JavaScript. In this case, our JavaScript is running wire query to clear this and then refreshing the component. Let's give it a look. Natalie and reset. There we go. So it clears on the client first and then it runs that refresh. So this is a great way to run JavaScript in your live wire without having to do all of this fancy stuff of, okay, I want the button to be Alpine, but then I also want to refresh the component in live wire. You can do that. This is just a helper method to say, I want to run JavaScript in the component in this specific function that I'm creating. Additionally, if you didn't want to do any of this, let's say uh, we just, we did want to say this query equals blank, but for some reason, and this is not the greatest example, but for some reason, I then want to run something in JavaScript after this button is clicked. I did want to do all this on the server. Maybe this is a form method. Maybe this is, you know, like a button to notify someone, but what if I want to send some JavaScript after that? Maybe we want to just do a alert in the browser say hey here you go there's other ways of doing this of course within alpine but livewire gives you this helper function of this js where now anything within this uh, parameter here is now going to be run on the client if i was to do uh, maybe like let's say alert and we can say query reset let's take a look so cali reset oh there we go. So we're running JavaScript in PHP. It's pretty crazy, but it's also kind of cool because now we don't have to worry about trying to, uh, okay, I'm just going to set up my Alpine component, or maybe I'm putting a script tag. Quick note, you can say script here and in a live wire component and script. And now you can just write JavaScript right here. But if you didn't want to do all of this setup and you really only needed like a few lines of JavaScript or a complete method to run JavaScript and you didn't care to do it inline or use Alpine to do it, again, some fantastic magic methods that Livewire gives. I would advise checking out those docs to take a look at what is available, but you really don't have to too. You can just do it all within Livewire, all within PHP. So the next time you think, hey, should I run this JavaScript? Maybe just run it in PHP. 